Hi guys, so today I am going to show you my hair routine or kind of a hair routine. I don't do this every day. Um, I'm just going to straighten my hair completely, which I do sometimes. And when I do, it just stays for a couple of days. So this is what my hair looks like after washing it and blow drying it a little bit. So it's not straight, it's not curly either, it's a little bit wavy. If I don't blow dry my hair, it's more curly, it's curlier than this. I do have a little bit of curls, but if I blow dry them, they don't really show up. So I'm going to use this straightener by Carmen, and I have this for a couple of years already, and I really like it. It has this ceramic inside, or I don't know how you call that, but ceramic, ceramic, I think. <laughs> anyway, I think it's a really good straightener, and it had a very reasonable price as well. Can unlock it with this button and um, that makes it easier to take it with you if you want to bring it with you you can lock it so this is the inside that I talked about and um, I usually put it on around 200 degrees and now it has to warm up so I'm going to warm it up and set it aside Then the first thing I'm going to do is put some protection, heat protection spray in my hair and um, I'm using this one by Sias and before doing this I'm going to um, brush my hair really well and I brush it with a tangled teaser. I use this brush the, yeah, most often. But I also have another one, but this one is best for when you just wash your hair and when it's still pretty fragile or whatever you want to call it. So this brush is um, very good for your hair and it removes any, any tangles. And you can also brush your wet hair with this brush, but still try to avoid that as much as I can. So I'm just going to brush my hair and let you enjoy the sounds. <laughs> hair is actually pretty easy to manage. I can curl it, I can straighten it, and it lasts for days. If I sleep with braids in when my hair is wet, it will stay for a very long time as well. It does look a little bit dry, and that's especially around the ends, because I got the ends dyed. I got this balayage or however you call it balayage so the ends they've been bleached and they're pretty dry and damaged so I know straightening is not the best thing to do for your hair but like I said I don't do this a lot I used to do it every day but I quit doing that and the top of my hair my natural hair color, the darkest color. 
And that feels pretty healthy, so... After that, after brushing it, I'm going to spray the heat protection spray. focus especially around the ends because I don't really brush or straighten the the top or the roots of my hair. I always focus a little bit on the ends and mid section. And these parts are dry so And once that's done, I'm going to comb it through with my finger or massage it in a little bit. Just to make sure that it's well coated, so to say. sure that everything's in there and spread evenly and then I'm going to brush it one last time because you want to make sure you don't have any knots in your hair when you straighten it that's even worse so this one is hot be careful if you ever try this Now I'm going to um, get a section of my hair, the top section, and I'm going to clip it out of the way. And this always looks really silly. <laughs> so I use this big clip. I can't use anything smaller because my hair is pretty heavy. Now you can see that my, I have a lot of baby hairs and those baby hairs tend to curl the most and on days that I don't straighten my hair completely I always do fix these little baby hairs because they always curl and they make my hair look really weird. And I just slide the straightener down my hair. Do the same on the opposite side and I tend to get the most curls around my scalp and neck area so those baby hairs and the hairs on the inside close to my neck those always tend to curl or get wavy Also, this is just how I straighten my hair. I'm definitely, definitely not a hairstylist or a professional. This is just how I like to do it and what I think looks the best on my hair. <laughs> this is also not a tutorial, but just me doing my hair. <laughs> So I'm removing another section and clipping away the part that I didn't do yet. So now I'm going to focus on the other side and again always comb it through before you straighten it. Also 
Also, as you can see, I go through it pretty quickly. I don't really um, straighten each section for a very long time and just moving it downwards very slowly. I don't know why this just is, I don't know, just the way that it works. try to um, be careful with the blonde ends because those are the driest and I don't want to make it even worse. That's why I also go through it a little bit quicker. So this side is basically done. Removing the clip again moving all hair to one side and then taking the other section and that's basically all of my hair except for the top and front part so I'm going to leave these for last and clip them away I actually think that my shirt and my hair and makeup all match really well today. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose actually. I just noticed. So now it's time for the last part, the last section, which is my top and front. So again, I'm combing this through. the most so I never skip them then I sometimes just quickly go through my whole hair just one last time and now I'm taking this comb brush my hair with this because after straightening it's always super soft and just to make sure I get rid of any tangles In case 
case I see another spot that I missed like here in my neck like I said it always gets curly there then I just straighten it a little bit more here as well and that's it this is the final look all straight now and then there's one last thing that I gotta do and that's um, putting some oil in my hair because now it just still looks a little bit dry so I always use this argan oil and it just takes care of my hair I really have to use oils every day and it's slowly improving <laughs> Take two pumps of this oil. And then I massage it into my hands first. And then I gently of focusing on the ends so I really make sure I massage it into my ends very And as you can see, my hair is already less dry looking, looks more healthy. It also feels super soft after doing this. And it smells really nice. So that's it, guys. This is how I straighten my hair whenever I do it. Maybe once a month or something. feels super soft and I really like how it looks the balayage that I have when it goes from dark to blonde for the people who don't know <laughs> and it just I don't know it always feels nice touching my hair after I do this I really like the layers you can really see the layers and the highlights but I'm trying to grow it out just to make my hair healthier but anyway this is what it looks like and sometimes I wear my hair to the side depends if it's windy outside it doesn't really make any sense but sometimes I just like to put it in at one side <laughs> so thank you so much for watching guys I hope you liked this video I'm just briefly showing you what it looks like in better lightning. So thanks for watching and I see you next time.